Thank you very much. Johnny, is there going to be a war? A war with China over Taiwan? A war, Johnny? A war with Taiwan? Well, that depends. What do you mean by that? Well, it depends on uh, whether the people of bloody Taiwan actually want uh, to be involved with China or not. But Johnny, what difference does that make, for Christ's sake? Well, they've just had elections down there, Johnny, and admittedly they're only local elections, uh, electing mayors and local councillors and that sort of bloody stuff, but the incumbent government, it's bloody, it's against China taking over Taiwan, so it made uh, China taking over Taiwan an issue of this bloody election. Johnny, that's bullshit, surely. And lo and behold, the majority of the people over there in uh, Taiwan, Johnny, it seems they didn't care about that issue at all. I mean, have a look at Jimmy here. Jimmy, bloody, what's his name? Well, why is this important? Oh, Jimmy. Good old Jimmy. So this is the land, this is a big landslide, right? And so all in the blue, that this, this is the party that wants the one China policy. And then this is the party that doesn't, that wants the Taiwan's independence. So that's why that's a big deal, right? So the ruling party, DPP, suffers historic defeat, and then the opposition, KMT. DPP favors Taiwan independence, while KMT favors One China. It has its own definition of One China, but it's One China. So that seems to be a defeat from all these protests you saw, people wanting to separate from China and Taiwan and all that stuff, and we want to bring democracy to Taiwan, and the United States wants to have a war over it. They just voted against it. Are you bloody serious? So they might actually be more in favour of China uh, having more to do with Taiwan than what, we, uh, what we've been led to believe. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, we get all this bloody media, Johnny. We get all this bloody publicity uh, about how, how the Taiwanese are all upset. Uh, China's going to come in and everyone's panicking. I had an idea in my head that everyone was shitting themselves about bloody China coming and taking over. Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen is stepping down as leader of her party. Tsai campaigned in local elections on a platform of defiance against China and upholding Taiwan's democracy. But voters instead flocked to the main opposition party. Bloody old Joe, Johnny. Old Joe, he said a number of times that the US, they'll go to war to uh, protect bloody Taiwan so-called sovereignty. Would US forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. Remember just a few months back, President Biden had to walk back yeah. similar comments. So uh, is this any different from what he said in the past? Well, this, yeah, this is this is a pattern with uh, with the president. He he has said this before that the U.S. would defend Taiwan. The U.S. goes to war with bloody uh, China. Well, Australia will too, for Christ's sake. Uh, we're supposed to help them. Yeah, according to the alliance bloody thing, that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, who wants to be in a fucking war with China, especially if the people of Taiwan don't care whether China comes in or not? I mean, what sort of a bloody reason is that? It'd be just like bloody Vietnam. <laughs> was, oh, we got to stop the communists and all that sort of bloody stuff. But it ended up the people in Vietnam, they actually, uh, they actually were for the North Vietnamese cause. And in the end, the Yanks just ran out of the bloody joint with a tail between their legs, a bit like bloody Afghanistan. Johnny, we don't want another bloody weapons of mass destruction bloody war. Was it Iraq? Where we, uh, they continually said, all the leaders said, we've got weapons of mass destruction over there. We've got to find them. And there weren't any fucking air weapons of mass destruction there at all. I take the fact that he develops weapons of mass destruction very seriously. Oh, the old weapons of mass destruction, for Christ's sake. Their mission, to remove Saddam Hussein from power and disarm Iraq of its weapons of mass destruction. And it was all based on a, a propaganda lie. Yeah, propaganda. There, I've said it, propaganda. So if we're gonna go and have almost World War Three, Johnny, with China, we've gotta be sure that the Taiwanese people, that bloody, uh, they're, they should have a bloody referendum now. It's been a difficult year for relations between Taiwan and China. In August, tensions rose to their highest level in years, when Beijing effectively blockaded the island with a series of huge military exercises. 
The drills followed a controversial visit to Taipei by US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, she went over there, caused a big stir, as you said. She was bloody going to do this and going to do that. But in reality, uh, were the people of uh, Taiwan behind that or against it or what? Because we wouldn't really know with the reporting we got. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. So are you saying, Johnny, we're not getting the full bloody, the full deal of the information? We're getting propaganda? Is that what you're saying? To me, it always seemed that Taiwan was on the brink, the brink of a disaster, and the people were all shitting themselves and scared and everything, and they're just waiting for the US to come in and help them. But that may not be the case at all, Johnny. We've got to get some decent factual reporting on this before we commit to any sort of bloody war. America is the world's terrorist. We have over a thousand military bases around the world for our empire and hegemony and imperialism. And we've set the Middle East on fire, especially in the last 20 years. We uh, invaded Iraq, killed a million people, ruined their whole country, did the same thing to Libya, turned it into a failed state, did the same thing in Syria, dropped 26,000 bombs. We're still occupying a third of Syria, stealing their oil. We occupied Afghanistan for 20 years. We're committing a genocide in Yemen. We're doing the same thing. In and you might have 20% of the population, Johnny, really devoted to, to keeping China out and they're vocal and they're militaristic and all that. They're not coming in. We're not doing this and all that. But there's this huge silent majority of Taiwanese who wouldn't mind China coming in at all. In fact, probably wouldn't make any bloody difference to their lives. Well, it seems that, uh, that things didn't work out the way they planned. It's all right, the Yanks taking on these little two-bit nations, Johnny. But with Taiwan, it's not some little shitbox country there they're taking on. It's bloody China. Johnny, excuse. So are you saying, Johnny, we, and they aren't the Chinese of old that were just a lot of dumb fucking people uneducated in a, now almost a third world country. It's not like that anymore in China, let me tell you.